Hello, I'm Izzy Lloyd from Team 1939, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a drill drive speed controller. Luckily, I already have one pre-made. This is what it will look like. You can connect this end to any motor with these Anderson power poles, and this end to the battery to give it power. Um, here are the supplies that you will need. You will need two different kinds of drills. One that you can take apart and transform into your speed controller, and another with a drill bit so you can drill medium-sized holes. You will also need wire strippers. Wait. <laughs> See? Okay. You will need a wire cutter. Sometimes those come with the wire strippers. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver. However, if the screws on the drill you're dismantling are flathead, then you'll need a flathead screwdriver. You will need some 18 gauge wire. Well, however much the gauge is on the inside, we'll get to that later. And you'll need Anderson power poles. You will need an easy battery connector, like so. And you will need zip ties. I like the long kind. You will need a heat gun, shrink wrap, solder, and a soldering iron. The first thing you will do is dismantle your drill, starting with taking out the battery. Then you will unscrew everything on the face of the drill we can just speed up and put music over it or something. Next, you're going to want to detach the motor part from the drill part itself. So there are two wires connecting the speed control box to this motor. You want to cut both of those wires. And this will just pop right out. So that's your motor for your drill. So what will end up happening is your long 18 gauge wire with the Anderson power poles will be soldered to these two wires that you just caught, cut off the motor itself. Then you will solder on the large battery connector to these two things with the red and the black in appropriate places. If you don't have one of these, you can just solder directly to the wire, but most drills have these. So eventually, once you get this soldered on, you're going to have to put shrink wrap over it. So we chose the appropriate size shrink wrap, and we're going to preemptively put it on so we don't have to start over again. And you want to put it as far away from the end as possible, because when you solder, the heat gets transferred through the wire, and you don't want this to shrink up here before you put it over the entire soldered area. Now we're going to strip this wire so we can connect it to this wire here. You'll have to strip this wire inside the drill as well. Oh, that didn't work. You're going to want to shrink wrap these two coiled wires together so they don't come apart when they're in the final drill drive. And you're going to also want to find um, shrink wrap that's large enough to, or small enough to go around each individual wire and then put that on there before you solder this to these wires here. 
Right now, I'm moving the heat shrink as far up the, uh, up the wire as I can to keep the heat that travels through the wire as I solder away from the heat shrink because we don't want the heat shrink wrap to shrink anywhere besides over the soldered area of the wire. Ta-da! And now I'm going to use the heat gun to shrink the shrink wrap around the soldered bits. And now, more shrink wrapping with the heat gun! <laughs> Use this as a hair dryer. <laughs> so now I'll be drilling holes up here to secure these wires into the drill with a zip tie, and down here to secure this black wire into the drill with a different zip tie. Now we have to put this back inside the drill outer shell. So this is the, the trigger of the drill. So you want to have that right beneath, well, right where the trigger should be. There should be a little box of plastic things that this box goes in. And then these wires are going to come up here and you're going to put a zip, zip tie through. I could get the zip tie off the table and zip tie them to this outer shell. We can pause now. So now that we've zip tied the wires into place, you have your drill set up on the inside. All you have left to do is put this in to control the speed. It'll go right in here and this little peg right here will fit right into this little hole right in there. And when you switch it back and forth you can reverse um, which way the motor is driving. Pause. And now all that's left to do is screw this face back on to the drill and you have a drill drive. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> if only I could put it on. Oh, Are you still recording? <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Can we, can we try that again? No. We can get a capture anyway. Would you like to put it on?
This might be the hardest part of building your drill drive. <laughs> Wait, can I see what I look like? I mean, I changed shirts in the middle of the video. Yeah, you did. See, who do, who are you just playing? But we have got the image. It's fine. Keep doing that, and then. Okay. And once you've screwed on the faceplate, you're done with your drill drive. This is all that is here. What are you doing? <laughs> are you still videotaping? So yeah, you can use this as a...